Hello. <sighs> well, guys. It's, uh, it's dungeoning time. Uh, I've been... <sighs> So I've, I've occasionally alluded to this massive document that I've got. It's basically just a scratch notepad file of uh, a list of classes I need for the Darkest Dungeon quests. Um, so it, a lot of them require specific classes to be ready. And I need, I need these people to be at level six to have their relevant skills be maxed out to have their best armor and for the damage dealers their best offense offense would good good uh arm weapon would be good for the support classes as well because that affects your speed as well so i mean that would be nice to have no guarantees that we're going to get all that because that's going to get expensive like when you well i can't even afford well, I can't even get to it yet, but, like, yeah, so that's currently, with with decent upgrades to reduce costs, that's 3,200. So probably base somewhere around 3,500 or so. And so the final level for both of these is probably going to be five grand each. Maybe maybe a little bit of a discount. So we're talking about, like, like nine grand for that final level per person and we're gonna have 16 people going into the darkest dungeon over the course of the game ideally 16 more if if we've got uh uh failures and someone ends up dying so that adds up to a lot of money a lot of money um uh, and there's other there's other things at play here that we need to worry about um there is a random chance of a particular quest suddenly opening up. Uh, now that can't happen until week 40, which we are in, we are in week we are beyond week 40 at this point. So you have to be beyond week 40. You have to have at least X number of heroes to level five, uh, and and then once you meet that threshold, then the game starts counting. Uh, the first week after that, it's like a 12% chance, and it keeps going up after that. Uh, let's see here. What is the... That's the Wolves at the Door quest. Oh, wait, here it is. Um, base chance is 12%, and every time a town event takes place, it goes up by 3%. Just got a message. Can you get a pink blanket out of the car? I will be right back. I need to go fetch a pink blanket. Is <laughs> a holographic circle bird? <laughs> there he is. You see, you see here. It says he can, he can, he can tickle and lifage. <laughs> oh, that's fancy. It's a tickling circle bird. It's French. He must be a French bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. Decent position to land a few lucky shots. Hello, Mr. Other Spy. Three. Oh, that was good. Oh, did you guys like that? I liked that. Good job. You've proven yourself worthy. Not what I wanted you to do. Here we go. All right. There we go. Simple as that. Yeah. 
Lag is such an issue with uh, with versus mode. Jump through here, jump over. There we go. Line it up, line it up. All right, we're back. You know, I never played Splatoon. There we go. I'm back. The blanket has been has been saved. Everything is fine now. Okay. So, the base chance of this quest popping is 12%. We have already hit that. Every week that there is a town event, it goes up by 3%. So I think that's already happened. We could have had at least one event, maybe two. So let's just estimate that we're probably sitting at a 20% chance every week. So after we finish our next adventure, one in five chance that it's time for the uh, the new quest to pop up. And what makes this quest particularly unusual is there's a pretty hefty penalty for not taking the quest. Like normally when you go to embark and pick a quest, you can just choose any quest you want. If you don't take a quest, it's probably still going to be there next week. Like boss fights, they stick around. You don't have to like, oh, there it is. I need to grab it now. Um, with the Wolves at the Door quest... If you do not take it, then you lose three building upgrades. And those are extremely difficult to get right now just because I've not been focusing the wield at all. Uh, so I've, I'm very much hurting on deeds. Uh, and also of note on that quest is if you, f if you have to retreat from that quest, someone in your party can just randomly die. And that you're just, that's just the way it is. And then it can actually just come, the, the event can keep coming back again and again if you, until you beat it. Um, yeah, abandoning the quest will randomly kill one of your heroes. So that would, that would kind of suck. So we're going to hope that that does not happen. Uh, let's see here. So right now... I'm really hurting on everything except for busts. What needs busts for upgrades? That is something we need to find out. Like, what are we saving those for? You're just crass, and uh, we're never going to upgrade you. Okay, so that's portraits, which I've not been upgrading that as much, because I haven't really needed stress heal lately. Ah, that's where the busts go. Well, hopefully that doesn't come up. Sanitarium also needs busts. That could actually... Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I've got, I've definitely got the busts for it. I have not been treating quirks at all. Like, at all. And I probably should think about doing that. Like, the like 10% chance on a bleed attack that it makes a difference. It's like, eh, it's not huge, but it's going to get bad later. Like some of these are a lot worse than others. Like claustrophobia, I don't think that even comes up on uh in the wield where this where the the hellion's going to be going. Um Healing skills while camp. I mean, that's great and all if I ever used that. Yeah, like, I've not been treating these at all. Like, that that doesn't even matter for quests. Like, if we, if we maintain a decent pattern of not needing stress heals at the end of quests, then that doesn't make even a bit of difference. Uh, Eldritch, I mean, maybe if we encounter the Shambler, I guess. But that, I don't really want to try that. It would be really nice to get some of those Ancestor Trinkets, though. Uh, her HP doesn't really drop below 50, right? Huh. Huh. Less damage, but more crit chance when low on HP. Interesting combo. Uh, he's got disease. I should I should actually deal with this, I think. I've, I've tried... 
I've been trying to kind of hold off on disease treatment in favor of uh, um, trying to use Plague Doctor. Uh, so let's see. So I've, I've got a level six team ready for the Wolves of the Door quest. Uh, it's going to be George, uh, Renald, Hudson, and Al. Which a lot of people recommend going Occultist instead for that big burst heal and a lot more damage. But I think, I think with the uh, with the stuns, that's a decent that's a decent play there. Um, I'm gonna need to level up the appropriate skills when that when that does happen. Uh, but I guess for that team, I should consider. <sighs> yeah, that's a that's a. I'm losing four HP there, and a lot of dodge, like all my dodge. Oh, and he's got a quirk that drops his dodge. Oh, only on the first round. Okay, so maybe. We go ahead and deal with some of that. Reduce disease treatment cost further. How much is it? A thousand. Okay. Uh, so we've already we've already dropped it by thirteen twenty six. So this would be a total of forty percent. So that's not gonna. That's what gonna get it down to. I don't know what the original cost would probably be, 1500 maybe. So that doesn't... That's not going to save us a lot of coin. Um, and this is not super expensive. To go ahead and get uh, Hudson cured of his disease as well. Yeah, let's do this so that he'll be ready for the big fight. When that does happen. Oh, and Al's got bad disease resist that shouldn't come up during the quest that shouldn't even be an issue like fingers crossed that's not a problem uh okay okay i feel good about that i'm i'm a little bit worried about ooh, that would be really nice but no way i'm spending 10 grand on an extra 2 hp this is this is our healer for this for this low level team which is really really risky like <laughs> that is maybe a dumb play uh the next the next uh boss that we're up against is the uh, brigand eight pounder which is a cannon we're gonna fight a freaking cannon um let's see here uh suppressing fire would be good Yep, marking. Yep, battlefield bandage. Rallying fire. Eh, it's a, it's a de-stressor, I guess. We can switch that on and off as we need. Uh, for Theron. Hmm. So Theron can hit front two ranks pretty well. He can stun front two ranks. He can pull. <sighs> yeah, see, this is, this is a little bit... I might want flashbang for the actual boss, which means we probably want to get that uh, that stat leveled up um, to a 130. This one is very situational, very situational. Uh, she's she came in at level two. She's she's got tons of stuff already unlocked. That's great. It's wonderful actually. Wow, are you out of points? <gasps> wow. It finally happened. Spoilers. Whoa. <laughs> Incredible. Not possible. It could not be. No, it's it's still yeah. You still have sixty four. Ah, oh, there we go. TTS. TTS today. I was in science <laughs> class and we was doing a practical experiment on how certain chemicals react with metals. Our teacher, let's K A L him, Dave, 
Dave began to show us what would happen when he poured some weird liquid into a glass, although he had grabbed the wrong vial and it exploded. Luckily it didn't hurt anyone but the heat from it burnt the metal inside. Mm -hmm. I kid you not it was the darkest tungsten I've ever seen. See that's decent. That's decent. It's a, it's a big stretch, but it's decent at least. All right, trinkets. We gotta trink it up. Trink it up the new team. A different approach, yeah. Yeah, they don't all have to be these crazy, unusual uh, roundabout setups. All right, a little bit. This will get us like one extra point of healing. That's enough. That's honestly enough. Um, hmm, who's our, who's our trap master? Yo, oh, it's Theron. Okay, Theron is definitely in charge of traps. There you go, Theron. Um, let's see here. From the back, extra damage but less HP. That's a, that's a hefty damage buff, too. Casual, you're not going on this mission because you're actually too high level now. You are you are already level four, and you have to be level two or less for this mission. So you have to stay home and rest. More damage, less speed, and more stress. You're too OP. You really are. More damage, less. Sp oh wait, that's almost the same damage buff, but without the HP penalty. Hmm. That's pretty nice. Um, oh, extra damage against human, but no dodge. Mm. So we're going to the wield today for a boss fight against a cannon. We're going to go fight a cannon. It's going to be great. Um, it's up Theron's stun chance, I get No, maybe. Yeah, and you get the boots. You get the protection boots. And maybe the dodge cloak could be handy. This is the one nobody ever uses. 25% protection plus 20% stress. That's a lot of stress. Uh, okay, Theron. All right, Manili. Manili the Arbalist. Uh, you're gonna get... Hmm, what are you gonna get? Yeah, you're mostly just gonna be doing rain shots with a debuff. How about a debuff amulet? Don't we have a debuff charm, blightstone, disease charm, stun charm, crit? Uh, stun amulet, debuff amulet, extra debuff chance, extra debuff resist, less dodge. Uh, I could take that. Just to get that suppressing fire a little bit more effective. Ah, uh, sure, why not? And then finally, still alive after all, it's Germ Dove. I, I saw that. You did, didn't you? What is Germ Dove going to do? What is he going to wear? Hmm. Extra accuracy. That's a... Actually, yeah, extra accuracy would be very nice, wouldn't it? What else do we have for accuracy? Anything else for accuracy? Oh, is that what that was? More accuracy, less dodge. Uh, melee skill accuracy. Tower defense roguelike seems like a very strange combination of genres to me. Oh, here we go. Oh, that that That's a rough dodge. Uh, that's a rough dodge drop right there for that accuracy. But that is a big deal because he's going to be our sniper. 
It's really well executed. Huh. What about this? What about that feather charm? Where is that? Uh, extra dodge. Oh, see, that could... That would put us... Wait, no. Not that one. So that would put our dodge back at 20. And gives a little bit more speed. But we don't resist stun and move. Actually, he's great against moving around because we got point blank shot and duelist advance. So we can do things even when we get moved. Stun... Yeah, that sucks a little bit. Low stun resistance. Oh yeah, he's getting moved. <laughs> yeah, he's getting moved. Okay, but I feel like I feel like that's a decent set of trinkets for this adventure. New prior I was playing the game, put through parsec. Oh yeah, I've you know I've done a little bit with parsec before. It's it's definitely got some uh, some issues at times. Uh, all right, so. We're going to use uh, Bandit Sense. I would like clean guns. <laughs> it is a joke. It is a joke. <laughs> uh, 15 crests. Seems like a bunch for 175. Any time that I, I look on Twitch to see, you know, who's streaming Darkest Dungeon, I always see these ridiculous challenge runs of like, oh, I'm not going to use any healing. It's like, why? Why? <laughs> no deaths I get. Like, no deaths runs. I respect that. That makes sense. That seems like it's a little bit luck-based. It's a little bit of, uh, you know, you, you have to really plan for it. Oh, man, that's too bad. You have to really plan for it. <sighs> okay. We're setting up. We're setting up for the Darkest Dungeon here. We're definitely getting there, but we need more funds. Uh, because we've got a lot of uh, upgrades that need upgrading. Keeping the subscription. Well, yeah, naturally. <sighs> Mostly, I need... Uh, yeah, the blacksmith. I need these last two, which means I'm I'm just I'm really hurting on deeds right now, and we get those in the wield. That's that's the spot. That's the spot you want to go for. I'm kind of watching the the baby monitor here. Uh, it's almost time for my kid's bedtime, and she's gonna come up here and want to chat for like three or four minutes before she goes down for sleep. So I'm I don't think I'm gonna start until she comes up. So we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit more looking over the team roster here, because I would hate to like start into the adventure and then be like, okay, now that we're here, let's put everything on pause. Now that that would suck. Um, all right, so we're going in with average darkest dungeon playthrough, no hit, no healing, no stress, no death, blindfolded, no torches, no heroes, no damage dealt, no button inputs. We are just going to sit and watch the Hamlet for the next two hours. All right, so here's the team we're running right now. Uh, we're going up against the uh, we're going up against the brigand eight pounder. Uh, level two, that's the sweet spot for the uh, early level bosses that you want. You know, you you can't have level three, so you may as well have the best uh, the best level you can. Also, Germ Dove is right about at the level up. We just got him before the cutoff. Um, so plan is, uh, Germ. Uh, our uh, highwaymen and arbalist are going to be focusing down the uh, what? Is, what is it? The 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 matchmen. The what do they call it? Um, uh, who is the guy? The matchman. Yeah, that's it. Um, I'm going with no real healer. Uh, we're just going with battlefield bandage. That is our healing. That and camping. And I hope that's not gonna really bite me I, I did that for the hag and it worked so it was like you know what good enough uh camping if we can get away with it um uh, we're gonna do bandit sense because we cannot afford the ambush one one out of three chance of an ambush i don't like that we're gonna we're gonna eat the time for it it's fine clean guns 
probably restring crossbow because I want high, high accuracy on our uh, ranged fighters here. Um, also, we may end up, I may put Germdove in the back so that he can always start with the, ad well, no, you can do pistol shot, and duelist advance. Like, do I always want to start with duelist advance? Maybe I do. Respect people to shoot uh, true dark playthroughs. Oh, yeah, yeah. The crit chance, just, I don't know. It's like, I need some stability. I need some some sort of chance. I'm getting better at stress management, at least. Um, I'm, I'm doing some riskier strategies, like offensively using campfires instead of using them reactively to heal. Um, like, using them purely for buffs. Honestly, the buffs you get on camping, when you don't have to worry about things like, uh, I don't know, healing... Uh, they, they actually make a pretty big difference. Uh, so we're going to be getting the plus 10 accuracy, plus 20 damage, uh, and plus 8 crit. Uh, and then she's going to be getting 10 accuracy, 20 damage, 8 crit. That's huge. Oh, yeah. Uh, I... <laughs> uh... I've been running a few offline adventures to, like, keep the game moving. Because we're getting close to the Darkest Dungeon. Like, I, I think I've got the main team. Have I? Yeah, I've actually got all 16 heroes I want to have set up. Um, it's just a matter of getting them all leveled up and finding the right trinkets, ideally. Which I don't think we're going to get the ideal trinkets. Um, I would like a few more ancestral stuff, but I just haven't found a good time to really take on like volunteer take on the shambler uh <sighs> the last time did not go well oh yeah we got we got lepers uh let's see actually i've got two in here um so my plan for lepers uh where am i where are they coming in uh we're gonna take them on quest three um, I don't know which one. GameCube, probably. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta put GameCube's googly eyes on. I, I, uh... Hang on, hang on. There he is. There's the boy. <laughs> I got him all set up. Uh, I've, I've learned how to edit, uh, asset files. And so <laughs> I've been customizing our, uh, our streamer friends. Like, uh, we got our, we got our buddy Short... Uh, Al, uh, Dupu, I found an existing dog only one. Let's see here. Uh, and then of course, Germ Dove. His, his turned out good. I figured out. I gotta give you a war. Maybe just like, just a nose and mustache strapped on. Nothing else. Just that classic. Actually, one thing that's tricky is you don't want things going outside of the normal transparency areas. Because it turns out that the animations are tricky to work around. Like a goblin jester. Yeah, gross. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, the matchman. Alright, he's the one I really want to worry about. He is going to have... Uh, 10 HP. And he's got dodge. He's got 12 and a half dodge, which sucks. But he always goes last, at least. So we got that going for us. Uh, so, matchman. If I'm running with a bonus 10 accuracy, and I've got this trinket for an extra 20 accuracy during the fight, I should be hitting him, you know, every time depending on whether or not we've got that little 5% wiggle room like that actually no I think that that works in our favor like I think there's always a 5% accuracy tacked on that's kind of hidden so it should be impossible for us to miss with the uh, oh wait we're doing pistol shot so we'll be at 115 minus 12.5 102.5 we should have that hit guaranteed damage okay Base is 7 to 13. Uh, we're going to be running with an additional 20% minus a 15%, so a positive 5% over. 
Ah, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So first, it picks the range of numbers, 7 to 13. That's seven different numbers we could land on. Then, after it picks one randomly, then it multiplies in your bonuses and penalties. And those are all additive penalties. So it's not like multiply by uh, minus 15% and then multiply by uh, 120%. No, it's, it's add those up and then the resulting ratio is what you change by. So we're going to add 5% total. Um, so how many of those numbers are going to wind up being a 10? And how does rounding work? Rounding, I don't actually know. So I think we're, let's assume that we're going to get everything shifted up by one with that 5% buff. Uh, in which case we've got a two out of seven chance. Point blank shot is good. Like it is real. it feels very good to hit with that. But... I'm gonna try and and keep him mostly towards the back. Uh, reason being, I want our Hellion to have access to Iron Swan. Oh, I should, yeah. Why did I have this out? Oh, because of the hag. I was facing off against the hag and I was like, there's no point in having wicked hack against the hag. Actually, this is, this is what I wanna run right here. Well, hmm. Yeah, yeah, this is good. Um, because I'm not going to be hitting the pot. Actually, I've got the playthrough of the hag recorded for later. I've got some. I've got some people that I want to see it, so I made sure to record it when I did that fight. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I want her to have. I want her to have Iron Swan in case the matchman is in the back row, because that's one extra person to avoid. You know, crappy misses. It can happen. Um. Middle two, I don't I don't think the cannon would ever scoop backwards. I don't think that I think it's always hanging out in the front, right? No, it can move. It can move. Okay, that's weird. It can move. Um well okay. Then if the matchman is somewhere in the middle, we've got if it bleeds, and then front, we could hack and uh a little bit of stun as needed. Um, Theron, I want to have access to Uppercut for stuns, and I think we're going to switch to Flashbang right before the fight. Maybe even before... You know what? Let's go ahead and have that available. That's That gives us, like, a lot of uh, options for stuns, which is going to be important because our healing is slow, and we're going to try and milk it for all it's worth. Do I think Hellion is better than Leopard? Hellion is more versatile, Leper has great lasting power. He's got tons of health, tons of damage output, but he's not going to do anything against the back rows. Uh, a front row Hellion, you've got Iron Swan to deal with the back row, like stress dealers or snipers. Um, you've got, uh, if it bleeds, is great for handling the, the third rank. Um... And you know, decent damage for the for the uh, for the front row, and also uh, a double a double stun move is really nice to have. I'm I'm really going hard on stun builds uh, this playthrough. Uh, like if you can cut out, it, I know you you probably are not consistently going to chain stuns more than one round in a row because of that fifty percent resist, but. Even if you give it a, a one round to uh, to rest for their stun resist to go back down, if you can eat up half of the team's moves, that gives you a ton of time to kind of milk the, the time in the combat for stress heals and health buffs and all that good stuff. And you can actually keep that going for a while. Like, it's like typically you're not going to outheal the enemy team just in normal combat, but if they're only getting every other turn and you can kind of pick and choose a little bit on which ones you're going to fight, that adds up. Oh, Dupu. Yeah. At the start of stream, I had him hidden because I didn't want anybody to know. Uh, actually, when Little Toadette comes up here for good nights, I will, uh, I will play the video because I actually did record exactly what happened um, for that fight. So let me tell you about the hag. The hag is the is the other boss fight in the wield. 
and we're in a rough spot because everybody's leveled really high and I've left these kind of low level quests for boss fights sitting out and nobody can take them on. So I need, lo I need to bring in some low level people just to kind of clear those bosses out just so I can cycle in some fresh quests that are more useful on rewards. So here's the, the hag's mechanic is she gets two actions per turn and she's got a big cooking pot. If no one is in the pot, then she will spend her next turn putting someone in the pot. And it's a very high accuracy move. Like dodging it is not really a viable strategy. Uh, when someone is in the pot, they take 12% of their health damage every action. Like not just not just on their turn or on her turns, on anybody's turn. Anytime anyone takes a turn, they take damage. That adds up very, very fast. Basically, you have until round three before they are at zero HP. Uh, now there's two things you can do about that. One, you can attack the pot. It doesn't have a ton of health. Uh, it's going to take more than one hero's attack, um, crits notwithstanding, to actually knock the pot over. Uh, but you can you can spend a couple of your hero's turns attacking the pot to get them out. Now, during those two turns, let's say, uh, that hero is going to take two turns worth of damage from being in the pot. So that's like a quarter, maybe a third of their health gone already. And then you're probably going to spend your other hero's turn healing them back up to keep them from dying. So that's a vicious cycle. What's worse about this is when someone gets spilled out of the pot, they always wind up in the front row and everybody else gets pushed back. So you have to be ready to work around different people being in different places. It's awful. Uh, and also, she's in the back rows. She's in ranks three and four. And in my first playthrough, I had the brilliant idea after a bunch of ruins quests, like, you know what? Crusader is really strong. Why don't I just have two crusaders they're great and so i uh my first time stacking multiple of the same class uh was a trip against the hag going in blind i could not hurt her a lesson i also learned in that first playthrough if someone is in the pot when you retreat they die no save they're dead you retreated you left them in the pot that's it they're dead so that was i think my first hero loss in Darkest Dungeon two years ago. It was an occultist, if I remember correctly. Rip. Um, so anyway, that's the first way of dealing with the hag. The second way, which I'd never tried before, is basically build your team around just all-out damage and just try to beat her to round three. I think I hear someone coming, so I'll leave you guys with the... Uh, Hello! Testament to the powers of corruption.
Things could be going better there. Just getting cooked. And so I'm realizing that uh, that's not going to work because that only affects ranks one and two for the bounty hunter. The bleed helps. The extra damage taken helps. See, that's what you got to worry about is that move right there. It's like if someone comes out of the pot with zero HP, that move can finish them off right away. Lucky crit. And then the bleed's going to finish her off. Almost. At this point, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Finish her off with one one damage caltrips. Germ Dove is now at death's door because he just hit zero HP. When someone hits zero HP, they get out of the pot, but they're on the brink of death. And there we go. There we go. We got it. And that's what happened. That's how it all went down. I was I was a little bit worried when Germ went in because he was one of my big damage dealers. Similarly to what we got. Oh, <laughs> we got, we got GQ's uh, googly eyes on. By the way, Dupu, they're looking pretty good. Um, Germ Dub was one of my big damage dealers because I actually spent some uh, some camping skills getting him better accuracy and damage. All right, we ran the numbers. It looks like we have a decent chance with the accuracy trinkets and everything. And if I clean my guns before the fight, we should be able to keep the matchmen dead. Uh, we're taking on the cannon. Let's go. Do I want him in the back row? Because right here I can use uppercut. Which deals damage and knocks back. But here I can use flashbang. Actually, in this current position, I can use either. Lots of stun opportunities, which is great. So maybe we'll try and keep germed of doing his duelist advance from the back line. All right, the brigand eight pounder. Here we go. What could go, oh right, we have to actually uh, pick our pick our gear here. All right, medium length quest. All right, so we're gonna go for, I'm gonna bring a extra food, uh, specifically because um, I'm going to use a little bit of food for healing, if need be. Hopefully need does not be. We got a little bit lucky against the hag of basically getting to the end and still having plenty of, uh, plenty of supplies and health. Uh, but we don't really have a, a real healer here. Simple folk are by their nature loquacious. And the denizens of the hamlet were no exception. It was not long before rumors of my morbid genius and secretive excavations began to fuel local legend. In the face of my increasingly egregious flaunting of public taboos, awe turned to ire, and demonstrations were held in the town square. The smell of sulfur and gunpowder hangs in the air. Oh, thank you for the follow there. Appreciate that. Okay. Oh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, no. Mmm, this is the worst. Oh, crap. This is really bad. We don't know where it is. And what's worse, it's going to be in a very far away ooh it's a long hike back 10 12 13 14 15 8 9 10 okay so this one is slightly closer by by hallway length by room length they're the same. The The boss is always as far away as possible by rooms. I don't think hallway length factors in. Okay. 
Here, let's do, uh... Let's do this. We've got plenty of time. Prediction uh, is now an official prediction. Mm -hmm, I don't like this. Okay, okay. Strategy. We, we want to camp right before... We don't want to waste our campfire. We want to camp right before the boss. So, possible idea. Retreating stacks like... 25 stress. What if... We, f we just go into this room and we'll see if there's a boss or not. If there is a boss, we retreat to the previous room, camp, and fight. If there is no boss, then we camp here. That is the plan. That is my plan. That is a dumb plan. I don't like this. It's a dumb, dumb plan. Uh, I didn't bring my scouting trinkets. Do I even want to carry around this treasure? Oh, freaking trinket. Manslayer ring. That's a that's a healthy chunk of damage there. Ooh, that's got me thinking things. No, we're going for the extra accuracy here. Well, I'll consider it. We will consider throwing that on Germ Dove. Okay. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. Okay. All right. Yeah, here comes the stress. That's fine. It's just 15 stress. Hardly any, really. Oh, the mark. Oh, he's too far for the mark to work, though, right? I didn't bring anything to deal with them. I, I don't have the flare, I don't think. No, I do not. Okay. Um, I'll probably be able to shoot her. Uh, so let's bring you forward. Actually, Iron Swan is great for that. Let's just uppercut one of these guys. Let's see if we can get that stun. Okay. You shoot her. Ooh, 50-50 on the kill. Mmm, I don't like that. Oh, barely. Okay. Give them no quarter. Good. And then Iron Swan on you. Decent. Should be able to knock her out. Good dodge. Oh, nice. I get to go first. You are dead. Good. There's our stress dealt with. Uh, Alright. Yeah, there's, our, there's some stress heal. Look at that. Who says we need a stress healer? Come on now. Uh, hmm, marking would be good. Actually, marking would be great. Extra damage on pistol shot. Extra damage on collect bounty. Double damage on collect bounty. Uh, yeah. Damn. No chance I land that stun, right? Well, 30... 55 chance. Eh, I don't like that. Not, not good enough for me. Uh, it's got pretty high protection. Hmm. And yet... How much bleed is this? Three points. So... 7 to 11. Plan is that he doesn't even live, though. So let's just fish for that crit. Ooh, we're too dodgy. We got the we got the dodge cloak. All right, so we should be able to pistol shot for a lot. Oh, actually, no. Huh. 
All right. But now, yeah. As the enemy Good. And now we will bleed you out. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, he's still going to be able to get... Yeah, that's not enough. Harmless swipe. They haven't landed a hit. They haven't landed a hit. I like that. I was going to prepare for some battlefield bandaging, but I don't need to. Good first fight. Good first fight. Scouting chance. Good. I would love to get a, a double scouting chance in this next room. All right. Well, I guess you need the stress heal a little bit more. Look at that excellent cropping. Uh, uh, this is bandages, I think, right? Uh, this curio is bandages. Yeah, for golden trinkets. I don't have the room for it, though. We're coming back around, aren't we? We're coming back through here, aren't we? <sighs> Maybe not. Yeah, we probably are. All right, let's do this fight. Same thing. Ooh, the, the statue. That's a good one to find. I forgot to get back into the position I wanted. That's not great, because I can't activate repost. Um, crit will not kill. <laughs> By strike. one point. I could use Caltrips. Act Ooh, we could use Suppressing Fire right here. Because that one damage is enough. And we get the debuff on her. That actually works out pretty nicely. Um, I'm going to knock you back too. Because that's going to pull her up and put you into Iron Swan territory. Oh, no, I want to take her... No, it's going to put you into stun territory. Ah. So they just don't get this turn. Okay, no stuns this time around, though. This time we have to actually make it work. Give me another Give me another one of these. Dang. Need to... Yeah, she got one. Oh, but we're too dodgy. Um... And yeah, let's take her out. Overkill. Uh, he's going to be doing harmless swipe. Let's try and make sure that does not hit. It doesn't do much damage, but still. She cannot be hit. She cannot be hit. All right, well, yeah, lock him up. Incredible. And he's going to be doing another harmless swipe now. Uh, huh. Seven. Ah, that protection. It's rough. Hmm. Yeah, let's get some bleed. It's not much, but it helps. And we'll start taking out the approaching one. Because we should be able to knock him out before his next turn. This guy can't can't land a shot on us. Um, I've got really bad damage right now. Could still kill. That's a kill. The bleed is going to take care of that. Uh, and so now, let's stun him again. And knock, and knock him right back. Right back where he started. Oh, it's not his day. Do Twitch predictions for this game. You need points to spam space. Ah, yes. Oh wait, what was the uh, what was the breakdown on the prediction? Let me see here. Seventy-two percent say west, twenty-eight percent south. Hmm. We will see. Uh, yeah, we're gonna iron swan. Great One is the left. That cuts on its own. One health left. You only just got here, which now I'm saying, okay. Success, so <sighs> Mint more often. I should, honestly, I should. I don't know what, uh, hmm. 
I don't know what kind of prediction we could do during this game. I'm sure we could come up with lots. Um, it's pretty. We're gonna leave the bus. Those are so. These are good to trade in for other things. Because otherwise they're just going to be used for the sanitarium and the abbey. Which we're not really super interested in leveling those up right now. Because that's just stress relief and disease curing. Which we're, we've basically got a handle on. Hello, Hovercat. Hello. Welcome in. How's it going? It's going good. Dinner was really good. Hovercat made some excellent garlic roasted chicken every exploration will someone die that would be awful um some asparagus she made fries from scratch uh holy water is purge negative quirk tell hovercat i said hi hi casual says hi <laughs> uh, no. Ooh, yeah. Let's let's get germed of this. What do we get? What do we get? Compulsive. Good. We don't want germed of being compulsive. Double scout. Double scout. Yes. We got the best case scenario, guys. We now know where the boss is, and it's not here. So, what are you gonna get into tonight, Hovercat? Um, I'm not sure. Elbow wrist situation is sore. So, a lot of my usual activities will probably not be a good idea, like I guess not. stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna have to take a break. Maybe I'll be able to do a little bit, but I won't do very much. Right. Huge. Hi, Theron. Theron, you're in this one. Make us proud. What was your favorite part about dinner? My favorite part about dinner? Mm -hmm. Like my favorite, like. Uh, well, I meant it as far as like what what food item did you enjoy the most? Um, hmm. I don't know. The bread. bread was really good. <laughs> Hovercat makes homemade rolls. I They're delicious. The same bread as you, but you know. I mean, always there and always. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you had uh, just some toaster naan. Yeah, from like the grocery. <laughs> Not bake that from scratch. Still. Whoop. Trap. Dodged it. It's fine. It's been a kind of a bready mood lately. It's like you eat a lot of bread. Yeah, you gotta be bready. Mm -hmm. For all things. Packs uh, laden with great. loot are yeah. often low on supplies. We'll leave it. Hovercat can cook. Well, I made a ham sandwich today. Max diseases. Yeah, cooking is not. Mm-hmm. That's difficult. Not a competition. <laughs> I guess sometimes it's a competition. You got to do the cooking by the book. But yeah. Mm, Sweetest. Cooking is a basic life skill that everybody should have. <laughs> true. True. Ooh, At least to some good. extent. All right. All right. I do think there are people who are better at cooking than other people. And stuff, either through practice or some natural ability or whatever. Like maybe ability to taste things and figure right, out, right. you know, cool stuff. Or maybe like attention to detail in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. if you're distracted or forgetting what you're doing. Which I honestly do that a lot. Why would you ever get distracted? Yeah. That we'll have a full-on dance party. Oh, we sure were. <laughs> While I was cooking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just stuck in my head forever. <laughs> it's the only thing I think of when I think of Iron Chef now. Even though I used to like actually watch that show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And it like got sore after mowing the yard today. It's like I did something 
get knocked knock loose in there. Yeah, you, you know. never, never know. Executed <laughs> with impunity. Could be, could be. Seize this momentum. I'm gonna turn dove on this one. You can nice. see. <laughs> This turned out pretty good. Yeah. A handsome reward. Like a part of the game. Yeah. Well performed. Sure, we wouldn't get two in a hallway. Can we get three? Oh. How was your day? Huh? How was your day, day? Um, I had to work, which you know, work. Are you gonna tell me that story that you told me to remind you to tell me, or is that oh, like a private story? Let me think. Let me think. Um, oh, it was little Toadette having her bath broccoli. Oh, yeah. Like you do. You know, everybody, everybody eats raw broccoli while they're taking a bath, just as a tradition, right? That's just, it just pairs well. Mm -hmm. I, I handed her some broccoli and was going back to the kitchen to get more broccoli. And as I did, I saw her, like, eyeing the bubbles in the bubble bath and, like, her broccoli and, like, huh? and then I stopped leaving. I was like, do you like that broccoli? She's like, yeah. He's like, why don't you go ahead and eat it? I like to see how much you enjoy it. I'm like, I'm gonna eat it. You go ahead. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, no, go ahead, go ahead and eat the broccoli. Like, no, you go ahead. I'll, I'll eat it in a bit. <laughs> so really <laughs> oh. Like, you weren't gonna put it in the bubbles, were you? No. <laughs> like, okay, good. Because <laughs> you shouldn't do that. Uh, little Toadette is more funny than me. It's true. She is. I'll never be as funny as she, she is. She's a funny kid. She's a funny, funny kid. Oh, boy. So, anyway. And that's what, that was the story. Mm -hmm. in Radiance, that's all it was. May we find okay. victory. If only treasure could staunch the flow. Other worldly. Ouch, casual. Ouch. <laughs> Unbelievable. Come on, critical hit. Hmm. Ah, uh, they're really fast, aren't they? They are fast. And very dodgy. Yeah, I just want to take one of them out. And now the option of go for go for a kill. That's eh, a decent chance. Oh, come on. No, don't get rabies. Don't get rabies. Don't get rabies. He didn't do it. We're good. Yes. Oh, oh, ooh, yeah, he shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have gone for germ dust. He was ready for you. Oh, Darren, you got rabies. What did I just tell you? Went to choir practice today. You're on base. Man, you have no TTS. Yeah, you're out of points. You somehow ran out of points completely. I don't, I don't get how that happened. Those don't, don't look exactly like doggos. I'm not sure. I'm a little more demonic than that. A smidgen. Okay. As long as we aim well. Decimated. Oh yeah, you actually, you actually get more damage with your rabies, but lower accuracy. It's like one of the few. Uh, one of the few diseases that has some kind of positive to it. You know, it's... Be wary. Oh, Triumphant yeah, pride yeah. precipitates a dizzying fall. You wouldn't like this game. I wouldn't. No, it's very stressful. Oh yeah. 
I keep almost Germdo keeps almost dying. It's the worst. Yeah, you knew. What are we gonna do here? Stun. Go for a stun. Never looks like it gets reflux. Yeah. She calls it the carrot thing. She does, doesn't she? Why? I don't know. I don't get it. Does she have a vivid memory of it happening with carrots? Maybe. Does she think it always happens with carrots? But it doesn't. I don't know. Yeah, I don't get it. Is she slightly allergic to carrots and it's a mouse for her? Maybe. There's a chance. I just don't understand. There's a chance that's what's going on. <laughs> Destroyed. I just I cannot figure out why she calls it the carrot thing. It's the carrot thing, you know? What carrot it? thing? What carrot thing? You know, my taste bad in my mouth. Oh. Like, yeah, mm. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. What? We want these things. We'll get an explanation for. Maybe we might get an explanation for when she gets older. Mm, I don't think so. But yeah, probably not. We're just forever gonna be confused about that. Basically. Get out of here. Oh, wow, we actually landed the stun. Alright, have a good sit. Oh. Good old rabies. It's gonna take two more damage. Actually, I don't want to do any of these. Dang. Because I don't want him to move forward. Well, too bad. He's moving forward. Ow. That's okay. We can heal up. He's slow. Yeah, he's slow. We're gonna try and hit him with the uppercut. Okay, now Germ Dove's gonna need a little bit more, uh, a little bit more help with the... Don't kill him. Just stun him. Good. That buys us time. To heal Germ Dove. For five. Not much. I, again, we're not really running a a real healer like a cultist or I don't know. Can you even count a cultist as a as a healer? Because <laughs> in in early game, a cultist is just as likely to deal to heal you for zero and then make you bleed. Alright. Good, good. Um, maybe we leave the strong... Okay, strongbox, worst thing that happens is blight, I think. Let me look that up. Um, yeah, blight. And we've actually got plenty of anti-venom. So... Yes, we got the scout. Dang, there is a fight. Oh, and a secret door. Neat. That's good to know. Don't let me forget about that, chat. Uh, hmm... Okay. Hmm. Option. We could go for the fight. And then come back and camp, because then we get, like, the free heal. Well, not free, but... Uh, hmm. Thank you, Theron. I should have been more specific on my timing of when to uh, tell me about that. We are going to come back, though. Uh, mm, that's a lot of backtracking to do. 
I kind of do want to take on this battle, backtrack, camp, and then go to the boss. That might be kind of dumb. I don't know. Yeah, actually, that is kind of dumb. Let's just do it. We'll get the we'll get the benefit of the camp now. Let's do that. Let's eat a lot of food. Go ahead. We need that that stress heal is helpful. Okay, so we're gonna do bandit sense, and then we're gonna do clean guns, and then we're gonna do restring crossbow. That's it, right? Yeah, we don't have any one-pointers. Okay, so that's going to be... That should be enough accuracy for Germ Dove to very consistently hit the matchman. A blazing star is born. Um, who's got good blight resist? 60. Okay, it is you. Just in case. Okay, we just get to take it. Nice. All right, let's do it. Uh, oh, moves. We'll, we'll, after the next battle, let's let's recheck our moves. Uh, we don't want to mess with this one. This one is risky. Oh, holy water though is random positive quirk. Uh, let's give that to Theron because he doesn't have a lot yet. He gets faded. Chance to turn any miss into a hit. What? What does that do exactly? Give me the numbers. Give me the numbers here. 10% chance. That's pretty good. Actually, that almost, that almost offsets rabies. So it doesn't just increase accuracy. It's if you miss, there's a 10% chance that you instead hit. What is the difference between that and a minus 10% on accuracy? So this is a 10% chance of a hit becoming a miss, but then a further 10% within that of that miss becoming a hit or a regular, I don't know. Yeah, it works decently with rabies, I guess. Okay, fight is next, so let's do it. Of safety. Okay, we surprised him. We've got high accuracy on our on our ranged guys here, so we should be able to knock these guys out Another pretty well. From our lands. Hopefully, we should be able to have little to no trouble with Another dealing with these war. enemies. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so that went all right. That went all right. It's good. It's good. Uh, all right, moves. The brigand. Uh, so here's what we're dealing with. The cannon takes up two squares of the board, two spaces, and then the other two spaces will be filled with people. One of them. Wait, does it? Is it, is it? No, actually, the cannon only takes up one space. It just looks like it takes up two spaces. All right, all other spaces are normally going to be filled up with enemies. One of those enemies is going to be the matchman. The matchman is very slow, always goes last. Well, always goes after your, your team. If the matchman is given a chance to take a move, it gives the... I'll explain it. The cannon does not ever get moves on its own. The cannon just sits there and soaks up damage. But the matchman has a move, which is light the fuse. And that will give the cannon one move. And that move is basically blow up the team. And it hurts. It basically will take everyone down. Well, uh, actually, we're, we're kind of hardy. Um... <laughs> It's not, it's not something we want to happen. Uh, it can deal between 9 and 27 damage at, at, at the, uh, the easy version of it that we're facing. So it's going to hurt. 
So our goal is to not let the Matchman ever get a move. Matchman has 10 HP, a little bit of dodge. Germ Dove, we, we ran the numbers. He should be able to take him out pretty reliably. Uh, he's got a little bit of bonus damage from his camping skill. Uh, yeah, 20% damage. So we're thinking he's probably going to be running like 5 out of 7 to 6 out of 7 chance of one-shotting the Matchman. Uh, Arbalist also will do decent damage, but probably not going to be getting those that uh, that 10 in one move that we're hoping for. When does the Arbalist usually go? Speed 2, speed 10. Germ Dove is usually going to go first. That's good. We want that because he's got a better chance of one-shotting. And if he doesn't one-shot it, the Arbalist will pick up the slack. Um, her sniper shot is... 105 base with a plus 10 from accuracy. So we should be getting that 100% that of the time. We should never have to worry about the matchman. It's just Germ Dove shoots. If it kills, we use the Arbalist to take out other stuff. Otherwise, Arbalist picks up the slack. Miss equals heal. Perfect. Um, do I even want Germ to have this repost on... Um, the other things that we're going to be facing off against here is um, just some random brigands. I don't remember which ones. Yeah, just an assortment. Um, so we're just going to mostly just try and stun them. Uh, I don't think we have to deal with stealth. Is there any stealth to deal with? Uh, only on higher difficulties then the Fusiliers may have stealth. So that's not necessary to prepare for. Uh, what else? Yeah, these moves are fine. Rallying fire, rallying flare shouldn't be necessary. Ah, um, okay. Yeah, stun moves are good. Come hither is less good. Mark, however, that we do want because we're gonna try and mark the cannon we get basically double damage against marked enemies. So we're going to spend one round uh, of Theron marking the cannon and then his next round actually attacking if we can. All three of these backline heroes get bonuses against marked enemies. 70% extra damage, 35% extra damage, 90% extra damage. So the mark is going to pair very nicely. And we've also got this sniper, sniper's mark. So that's the plan. Uh, I don't think we need to... We're at full health. Oh, we were going to look at this. 25% damage versus human. That's really good. And I don't think we're going to be dealing debuffs. So let's actually swap that. I don't... I hardly ever swap trinkets during a... During a run. Where's my... There it is. Where's my Benadryl cream for my... Stupid bug bites. We are on day five, well, day four of dealing with the uh, the fallout from the nature hike. All right, let's do this. Dun, 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 dun. Not forgetting anything. Booga booga booga. A marvel of technology. I'm marveling. All right, this guy right here. This guy we want dead immediately. Kill him. Done. Good. That's all we want. Good. Blanket fire is a debuff, and we don't want to get hit by that if we can. All right. Uh, mark. How, wait, how long are these different marks? We have the Arbalist and the Bounty Hunter mark. Uh, Arborlist Sniper Mark is three rounds. Bounty Hunter's Mark is also three rounds. So probably we'll just, yeah, use whichever one. Bounty Hunter's Mark reduces protection. Oh, wait, that's a debuff, so that's not gonna, that's not gonna land. Okay. Well, then, yeah, just, just hit him. Mark him. Yeah, cool. All right. 
Also, we can take these guys out of the picture as we as much as possible. Mm. That was really that was a quarter of this thing's health. That's good. That's good. We cannot make the cannon bleed, unfortunately. It's to 11 or 7 to 14. Well, let's go with this. Yeah, get that bleed on, and then he's going to go away on his own pretty soon. Yep, reinforcements. I guess it does kind of get a turn in the form of reinforcements. All right, Germ Dove. Okay. That's something to watch for. Matchman has a turn right now. Needs to go away. Very important that Matchman goes away. Um, I can't really reach him, so we're just going to miss. Okay, snipe it. Snipe it. Three. Ooh, I could risk it. I could risk it to deal... No, that one's going to die on its own. There's no point. Take him out. Take him out. What? Oh, I've got less speed. I guess that's all right. Uh, can't stun the cannon, but I can stun this guy. Day! Hello! One less turn for this guy to attack me is good. There he is again. Backliner. Yep, you're dead. Okay. Good. Darren is making short work of the cannon. Germ Dove not quite knocking this guy out. Arbalist picking up the slack. I may as well just try and damage this guy a little bit. Uh, our Hellion is not going to do much against the cannon. I mean, a little bit, but cannon's got a lot of protection. Oh, un unmarked, huh? Mark it. So we can get that double damage. It adds up. It adds up. Dang it, I can't get anything over a 10. What did we what did we get debuff? Bleed resist, okay. Nice. Um stun him again. Just don't give him a move. Yeah, go ahead and Oh, you got both of them. I forgot that's a thing. Okay. <sighs> Injured your foot in the process of settling in. Ouch. What a vacation. Dang it. Not... All right, that's okay. We'll use the uh, suppressing fire. Yeah, because that should... Yeah, two to four damage is enough, right? There we go. And that's going to reduce your accuracy. Um, yeah, let's bleed you out. Because you'll well, reinforcements should trigger before this guy dies, which means we won't have to worry about his move coming up. Yeah, this is a very think ahead kind of fight. All right, he's still marked. Nine, not much, not much damage there, even with the double damage on the marked enemies. Yeah, we're just going to keep stunning you. Keep you kind of out of the picture. Okay, it's still marked, so I can deal some damage. 11. By shooting an arrow at a cannon? Why not? Sure, that makes sense. They're back. Ow, that's a debuff. Okay, it's dodge is the debuff. Ooh, nice. Okay, we need to mark this guy again. He's only got 29 health left, but he's got such high protection that I'm not going to be doing much against him. But 5 to 8, that's something. It helps. Oh, there we go. There we go. Five more. Five more. Yeah, summon your reinforcements. You're done. Dunion rings. Let's. 
Let's play it safe. Let's take out the matchman anyway. The brigands are all done. Our family crest is once again a symbol of strength. Nice. What do we get here? Which is vile. It's not as good as this. <sighs> the journal page. Okay. I don't want the journal page, but if I take it with me, it'll stop showing up in the uh, the item pool. We're saving this key for a very special thing. That's worth 750. It's not great, but it's not awful. And we're going to continue adventuring because we passed a very particular room on the way. That was a good fight. That went about as well as you could hope for against that one. It it's it's just a very slow and steady keep Aiming for the right things at the right time. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. It's a very strategic fight of like just planning ahead. And I think because we had the right trinkets picked out, we had the right accuracy figured out, we never were really in any, any danger. I mean, maybe a stray crit from like the one or two guys that we're actually able to attack. But that's about it. Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows, but give me the give me the big treasure. Yes. There it is. Sells for 5, sells for 5. Sells for 15. All right, that's it. GG's. That was a good quest. And we just made bank. Dun, 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 15 grand, not bad. Got some deeds, excellent. We need a lot of those. Everybody leveled up to three simultaneously. Evasive, that's really good. Black Plague, dang it, Harriet. We have to deal with that. That's not cool. Okay, are we gonna get the brigand invasion? No. Troubling shortage of ale <sighs> and a notable absence of good humor. Hmm. All right. Uh, so we need to treat. <sighs> Black Plague is pretty bad. What's Theron have? Rabies? I don't like you having that accuracy problem. Uh, Vertigo is not too bad for Germ Dove. That's, that's a pretty okay one to deal with. But Rabies, I need, I need you to land your shots. Alright, anyone new on the stagecoach we want? Level 2 Occultist. I will take them just because we can dismiss them if we find someone better later. Uh, but we're probably not going to keep them. Abyss, one must know it. But free level 2, I'll take it. Uh, okay, well, that is the cannon done. We are we're, we are ready for uh, the Wolves at the Door quest to spawn whenever that happens. I think that counted as a town event there. Yeah, so that bumped up our chance. Did I make it in time to celebrate our favorite highwayman's victory? Germ Dove! Welcome in, and thank you for 36 months. That's almost a year. Wow, would have been 2020. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. October 2020. Um, actually, I have the video uh, of of this attempt here, so you can see exactly what went down and how uh, it, my plan and everything. Everything went exactly according to plan. Unfortunately, that meant that someone was going to be unavailable. 
the witch, or the hag, when you fight the hag, um, one strategy is knock over the pot to free a hero. But anytime you do that, as soon as her turn rolls around, she's just going to put someone right back in the pot at random. And so, really, the main strategy is just damage her, bef just kill her before that's a problem. Every turn that someone is in the pot, they lose about an eighth of their health. Not just every of their turn, every time anybody takes a turn. So, round three is when someone dies. And of course, she picked Germ Dove, one of my best damage dealers on the team. Actually, I just went with a very high damage dealy team composition here. No dedicated healer. Everyone's just all about damaging things before they damage us. And it worked. So we get the mark. You can't really move the hag. She's, she's stuck there. She doesn't move. Let's see, when did we hit level 40? Town event. So yeah, Germ Dove is just slowly cooking in there. Okay. So we're at 18%. Oof, ouch, owie, my skin. So the thing is that you don't outright die from the pot damage. When you hit death's door, you're dumped out at zero HP, which means if the witch lands any of those major area of effect attacks, which she does every single round, you gotta make a death save. My intention was for Germ Dove to not be in the pot so he could turn on his counter attack so that all those area of effect attacks would trigger more damage going towards the hag. Uh, that did not pan out because Germ Dove went in the pot. I didn't have anyone that I was like, yes, that is the person I want to go in the pot, but Germ Dove was certainly not my first choice for being the sacrifice into the pot to keep her busy while we damaged her. But we got some we got some decent damage, we got some good we got some good crits. And the bleed kind of got her down to one HP. And about this time I'm thinking, oh no, we're at round three. When is Germ Dove gonna be into death's door? And then as soon as I kill her, <laughs> Germ Dove drops to zero HP. But there's nothing around to damage him, so we win. GG. These nightmarish creatures. There you go. That. That's how it happened. So I just checked through the uh, the log here. We've had two town events since week forty, which means currently the brigand attack is sitting at an eighteen percent chance every week, and every town event is going to bump that chance up by three percent until they finally show up. We have our team ready. Uh, I, I made a mad dash to get George up to level 6. I had to take him on a quest that almost killed him, and I had him use the Ancestral Portrait to level up faster at the expense of more stress. Uh, but when the brigands attack... Lurking Turtle? What in the world are you doing here? Oh, Mario Maker. I had no idea. He waited. Uh... Wait, why does that say... Something's going on with that little... With the little Raider from box. I don't know why, but it's saying Raider from Lurking Turtle Gan. Wait, is that actually saying Gan or is it... No, okay, it is saying Gam. It's just the text is cut off. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was weird. Okay, the full text is there. It's just completely cut off perfectly at the middle of the M. It does. I mean, I guess if you're getting multiple raids at once. Lurking Turtle Grandma, that's him. Turtle, you'll be happy to know that uh, I, I got a new skin ready for, for GameCube. So that... Uh, <laughs> So he's he's ready to take on the dungeons now in his classic GQ attire. 
of googly eyes. We're not going to separate him from his channel logo. It is what it is. Uh, Alright. So two of my people are getting diseases cured. So where do we go next? <laughs> Creepy. Yeah. Um, let's check our let's check our big document here. Uh, Germ Dove is now up to level three. Helion is up to level three, right? That's who that was there that we just took. Manili is up to level three, but I don't care. Theron is up to level three, and. I don't know if Theron's going to make it to a Darkest Dungeon quest, because we don't need a lot of bounty hunters for that. He's very useful for le for getting through these missions and boss fights, but for the actual Darkest Dungeons, only one of them, well, maybe two, one or two really need a bounty hunter. So we'll see if there's a, a roster slot available there. All right, let's see who we've got for, ooh, are we doing the flesh? I don't think we've got a team ready for the flesh with this level set we need hound masters and uh i don't know if we have appropriate hound masterage yeah all we've got it, it dupu is our only hound master he's already level six so he's not going to take that quest he just won't hmm okay so who do we still need to level up lots of people actually a lot of these level fives still need to get knocked up one more level. What does Hovercat have? Tapeworm. Great. Hmm. Could go for a cove fight. Let's see what the let's see what the rewards are here. Ethereal crucifix. That's decent, actually. Ooh, and we get a town event of gentle tide. I don't know what that grants us, but I like it. Oh, that also gets us gentle. <gasps> Bright tambourine. Eh. Oh, there it is. Yeah, plus twenty percent on stress skills. That's good. That makes the that makes the jester a better de-stressor. Um. Yeah. Maybe we can do a maybe maybe we can do a mid-level cove quest. Do we have an occultist? It's at the ready. No, we do not. We would need a level three or four occultist. Um. Grave robber can do decent in. Uh in there uh, let's see here who else we got we have a vestal it's yeah it's okay yeah we want to go for blight damage uh, abomination would be good but he's not going to do that is he no yeah ooh and we don't have a whole lot Hmm. Okay, we would almost certainly want a healer. I guess leper. Um What about our level 3s? Grave robber. We're not too attached to the grave robber. We don't need her for for anything. Germ dove. He could do okay, maybe. Dismas. I do still need to get Dismas leveled up. <laughs> run to uh let's just run to Highwaymen. No, that's a terrible idea. Uh, second rank. Well, pick to the face. Armor piercing. Is it get good? Oh, no. Uh-oh, Germ Dove. What did you do? What did you do? Did you cook with some bad milk? Ah, bubble tea. Oh, bubble tea. <laughs> huh. Extra bubbles. Oh, a week. Hmm. That'll that'll do it, huh?
But you can now. Oh no. Oh jeez. I guess that'll do it. Flashing daggers. Hmm. Eh. Cure blight, cure bleed. More dodge and speed. That seems really niche. Pick to the face, though. I'm going to use pick to the face here instead of throne dagger, I guess. I want lunge and shadow fade available. Healing is good. Germ Dove needs more bullet. Uh, more repost, and that's it. Everything else is kind of eh. Point blank, I hope we don't have to use that. That's good, that's good. Okay. Uh, armor and weaponry. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, armor, armor first. We want everybody to have good armor. Germ Dove does need a better gun. And if that don't work, we can use more gun. I'm not going to upgrade her because I want her to focus on blight damage where possible because that actually works out in the cove pretty well. Unequip all trinkets. You know what you get. Yeah, more healing for you. Um, you. Tome of Holy Healing. And then, let's see, that's 25% extra... We could stack it, make it 55 to turn you into a healing machine. But stress becomes an issue, and we don't really have a de-stressor here. So we have to deal with that. Do we want you to have Junia's head? Could go for something a little bit simpler. Still, not, you know, it's not as great. We we're, we tap out at 40% heal, but that's, that's good enough. Um, Germ Dove is going to get... Uh, we want lots of accuracy. Uh, where, 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 what did we just take? What did we just take last time for you? Feather and something else. Ooh, stun resist would be bad because some of the enemies here can inflict stun like the jellyfish. Uh, more accuracy, more crit. Ah, that dodge though, that's rough. I just give you a dodge stone and just say here just don't get hit um, burst needs to not move away because otherwise it's a slog to get back to the front line oh I did edit some assets for this particular dungeon just for turtle um, one of the enemies got a little bit of a a little bit of a tweak which I'm sure he's gonna love germ dove is just gonna shoot things and repost. Scouting and disarm. Oh wait, but you're a, you're a disarmer for traps, aren't you? Oh, she's good at traps. Okay. She'll be our don't get surprised or do scouting, disarm traps. That's it. And then maybe a blight skill chance up. Pick to the face is I've got one enemy in mind that has ridiculously high protection that I want to deal with. Um, and then... Hmm. Let's make you extra dodgy. How about that? Yeah, you're just you're just dodging all the time. Alright, that looks good. Uh, everybody else's stress is managed. So let's get our let's get our uh, our gear ready now. Uh, we're going to the cove. We're after that bright tambourine and gentle tide. What do you have? Oh, we. That's not going to hurt us, hopefully. Man. Oh, right. We have, to, we have to deal with these items, these quest items. Uh, medium run. Dobbs, I have decided to write a book. Tell oh, really? me if you would read it. Mm -hmm. It's about a group of fancy restaurant valets who get pulled into a real-life game of Dobbs Quest, 
fighting Molsk, Mana Springs, mm -hmm. the works, and I'm calling the, it the, the Parkest Dungeon. <laughs> it's perfect. Okay, that looks good. Brilliant turtle. Ship it. Keep an eye out, turtle. There's some enemies here that you might you might be interested in. <laughs> fish like things abhor the warding sigils. Uh, Let us claim this place anew. Quest location. I don't know. Let's check this way. I don't want to spoil anything. Come on, give me a scouting chance right here. Yes. Curio, curio, nothing. All right, back to the start. Oh, trap again. All right, sure. Oh, she can't be stopped. She's robbing graves left and right. If only treasure could staunch the flow of All right, let's fight. Let's fight him. Oh, there. Hey, look at this guy. Look at this funny guy here. Yeah, that's a funny guy. Oh, we're not going to see it because it's only going to happen when he attacks. <laughs> uh, yeah, I took him out. <sighs> Dang. We'll probably see more of this. I gave him a little speech bubble when he attacks. It's great. It's great. You're going to love it. That's okay. We can do he can kinda do his own stress healing, sort of, to a degree. Oh, come on. Why you gotta why you gotta do that? Hmm. <laughs> Nine. Three damage per round. So that's not gonna be enough to take him out. There we go, that's gonna help. Still not quite enough. Good. Okay, no more stunning for you. Can we reach him? Oh, we're good. There we go. There we go. Yeah, with pick to the face, I don't have to worry about those guys. Oh, hey, what do we got? Slippery boots. Push on to the task's end. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I'm not going to take them. 750. Ah, 750. That's a good chunk of change for selling them. What did his speech bubble say? It says, hi, turtle. It's, it's pretty nicely done. You're going to love it if you ever see it. Maybe if we wind up... The thing is, I don't want to see that enemy attack. Uh-oh. Oh, nice. There we go. <laughs> what? No, no, he's a very friendly guy. When he rears up to say hello. It's great. It's great. Uh... This one, herbs to purge a quirk. Oh, he's a cophobe. Well, that's not a great place for you to be, is it? Um. Hmm. Oh yeah, light sensitive. We want to get rid of that if we can. I don't think this will do that because it's a locked in one. Oh, we got it! Nice. That was that was hurting our damage a lot. I didn't even realize we had that. Grave robber falls for a trap. By foul Great. Invention. Let's see if we get some some more friends. No, no friends here. Maybe this way. We need a scout chance pretty soon, so we can. Dang it! 
You don't want to talk to him. It's understandable. Another one. You want me to go turn it? Yeah. Alright, because I need to know if there's something in here. No snails. Wap wap. Uh, okay. That's a shame. Um, let's deal with Stress Dealer if we can. I don't know if we're gonna do much. I can't take her out without a crit here. No crit. This one I could take out without a crit. Ah, but not quite. Ooh, nice. Oh, she's dead now. She's gonna she's gonna blight out before she gets a chance to have a turn. Good, good. No. Ow. I was hoping she he would go for germ dove. Ow. All right, could you guys stop it? Okay, 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 okay. Oh, yep, great, great. Okay, so this guy, we can take him out pretty easily, but let's deal with... No, let's just take him out. Take the shot. Yeah, this, that needs to stop. That needs to stop. Leave our poor healer alone. Mm, the bleed. Ooh, that's a lot of bleed, huh? Gosh, it sure is. Ten. Twelve. Why am I even bothering with the repost? No one's attacking him. Uh, let's do it again. Can we get a stun here? Come on, come on. Yeah! Alright, good. That buys us some time to, to not bleed to death. Um, hmm. That's yeah, alright. That should get some good damage over time. Yep, 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 yep. Mm. You need seven, you need four. There we go. Now we're all almost full. And now we're not. Their formation nice. is broken. Maintain the offensive. Ooh. Didn't actually see that. Uh, okay. Hmm. We're gonna, we're gonna be in a problem here. We're gonna have a problem here. Uh, alright, we're gonna drop a shovel, I guess. Yes! Got scout chance, and it tells me don't need to go to the right. That's good news. a lot of stuff that I can't carry. Um, okay, quest location. I don't know how far to the next one. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> assume assume a camp at one point. Let's take the crests. We're kind of running low on those. I'm going to hold on to the herbs for now. Ooh, the relief. That is, uh, ooh. No, let's not risk that. All right. One torch per hallway. It's going to be more than one torch per hallway on average. These are some long calls. Okay. OK. 
Curio, Curio, Trap. Ooh, Double Scout. Uh, room Battle, Curio, Curio. Still no quest location, so we got a little ways to go yet. But we're clearing up some, uh, we're clearing up some inventory space. That's good. That's good. Is it good? It's good. Ah. Medicinal herbs to purge another negative quirk. Well, you know what? Let's take out bursts. Something from burst. Okay, that's good. Nope. Oh. Okay. Whew. Her, her. She has, uh, yeah, guilty conscious causes her to interact with some random things like that. But she got a bonus out of it, so, all right. It worked out in our favor this time. Next time, we might not be so lucky. All right, room battle. Let's go. Ooh, okay. Okay. I gotta sit up for this one. This is, this is a guy, this, is a, this guy's bad. This guy deals a ton of bleed damage. Uh, he's got a lot of armor as well, though Pick to the Face can help deal with that. He can be blighted. Blight is gonna do 12 points over the next four rounds, so let's, let's actually do that. It's a Dobster Lobster! The stress, I'm just gonna have to live with it. I don't really have anything I can do to, to counteract that. Okay, Germ Dove's gonna take some heavy bleed damage from being up here. But I need his damage. Hmm. Yeah, we're, we're, we're only going to be chipping away at him each round. If I can get a stun, that would be really good. It's not super likely. 60% chance. Basically a coin flip. We got it. Hey, Blue. Welcome in. No. Oh, that's scary. Three rounds of bonus damage, accuracy, and crit. Yeah, that's very scary. Okay, okay. Lunge, do five to ten, and move me forward to... No, let's, uh... Let's just get through the armor. Doing all right, doing all right. I'm making it. We, uh... We went up to my, uh... To my mom's house this past weekend went for a hike in the hills behind our house with our kid and uh we we bug sprayed our kid pretty well but for ourselves we we're like ah, we should be able to see the mosquitoes coming we'll keep an eye out we forgot it's not just mosquitoes uh they have some pretty bad uh they were we got coated in uh chigger bites uh i counted on my right foot 35 bites uh, I'm still healing off of that. <laughs> it's it's rough. Stun resist. Can't do anything about that. Yeah, could be better. All right, here we go. Here we go. Dodge it, please. Dodge it. Oh, ow! Oh, there goes germ. Yeah, this guy sucks. <sighs> A lucky crit? Mm, not quite. Okay, that's okay, though. No, stop. Oh, dang it, they healed him. Okay, maybe I get the stun? Yeah, me too. All right, we got the stun. That's good. Hmm. Blue. No. 
Oh, do not. Okay. I mean, that one's not great either, because now he's doing huge amounts of damage, and he's not stunned. He still gets to go this round. Can I kill him? Let's hope so. Nine. I need five more damage. I need five more damage. The bigger the beast, Get him, germ. The greater the glory. That a boy. That a boy. All right. Stun you. No, I should have stunned the other one. I should have stunned the other one. Whatever. Doesn't matter, apparently. All right. Take this guy out. Uh, not quite enough blight to kill him. Oh, the buffers. Okay, Bleedstone. No scout. Okay, so we don't know how much farther we have to go. Hmm, not great. Okay, leave it. Crack open this oyster. Wealth beyond Money. measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. We'll leave the rest. All right, we're doing okay. We are doing okay. We managed the shuffle well. Oh, good. We need this. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. That's fine. Okay, nothing in this room, right? Yeah, no scout. All right, so now we're kind of just flying blind. Ooh, we're Another running low on shovels. Another misfortune. Oh, nice. There it is. Cool. All right. Well, we should keep going for treasure then. Like, that's the smart move, right? Get greedy. Still no idea what's ahead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got greedy. We got greedy. We got greedy. We got greedy. Uh-oh. 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 Huh. Okay. Hold on. I need to, I need to look something up on retreating. <laughs> That's the collector turtle. He wants to show you his collection. Um, okay, retreating from a hallway battle. Wandering bosses like the collectors will reappear when your heroes enter the same hallway. Okay, so possible, possible play here. We could retreat. It is a base 70% chance to retreat. It costs a lot of stress. He does not. <laughs> if we do that, we could go back into the room and camp. This would give us time to up our accuracy, uh, clean guns, actually mostly just bandit sense, clean guns, and what? I guess reflection would give us some good frontline damage. I think I'm gonna do this. I don't think I've ever done this before. A wise general cuts losses and okay. regroups. So we retreat. We camp. We get the full full food, which kind of gets a, a bit of a rebate. Uh, bandit sense. Clean guns. Reflection. And then the only other thing we can afford to do really is pilfer a torch. All right. As the light and now we go for it. Are lifted. 
That purpose is made clear. So now we come in with these nice accuracy damage buffs and crit buffs, which is, it's good. All right, we're gonna try. Does he collect hugs? You know what, yeah, yeah, he collects hugs. The only thing we've got going for us is we've got holy water for resistance. I don't know what that's gonna do much good. All right, bring it on, buddy. We surprised him. This is actually pretty nice to surprise him. Uh, especially if we can manage to somehow get a stun on him. I really doubt it. He does bleed. I don't think it's time for repost yet. Repost. Just want to give him a hug. Maybe a stun? Maybe a stun? No. Okay, that was too much to ask for. Okay. Okay. Now we have a good first turn done. That's gonna help a lot. Collect call. Okay, that's fine. A decisive pummeling. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, he's gonna show us his collection. I cannot really deal with stress very well here. Um, pistol shot, 9 to 16. Really good chance of a crit. A crit would deal 24. <laughs> uh, Alright, we want to stun you. Oh, no hug, no hug. Headhunt is the dangerous one, because this one has a high crit chance. And it does a lot of damage. And bleed. One short of killing that one. Alright, we're just going to stack Blight. We're dealing 11 damage over time. That's a stun move. I hate it. All right, we, we blocked that. That's okay. <laughs> uh, you need eight, you need eight. That's all we need though. Do I dare go for a, a kill? Yeah, let's get the kill. Let's get the kill. That's worth it. Because now he's gonna have to spend a turn bringing that guy back. Got the dodge. Nope, nope. Okay, max damage. Not a crit, but max damage. We'll take it. Uh, this is the one we want dead. Mm. I don't know what you're expecting to happen there, turtle. Oh, nice, 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 nice. All right, he's taking 12 damage from Blight alone. As long as he doesn't get healed. Don't. Okay. Good. Oh, he still need. We still gotta get two health down, and then he's out of here. Uh. Actually, this might be it right here. I don't need much health. Nice. Nice. Uh, we did it. We have done it. Alright. Leper's turn. Leper is just going to heal, I guess. Because we can't, we can't do anything else. We're going to let Leper heal. We're going to reduce Torchlight. The darkness holds much worse than we We're snuffing the torch because that ups our loot. Well... Ooh. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Oh, that was that was something. Bye, hug guy. I don't think I even want to go in this room now. Like, uh, no, there is a chance of really good things happening if I go in this room. No scout chance. 
Uh, we should probably leave then, right? Chances, well, I've got the buffs active, but I, I'm out of torches. Hey, a torch. A handsome reward for a task well performed. I got bonus gold even. Ooh. All right. That's fine. That is... I can work around this. I have a healer. Nice. He's dead. He's gonna blight out. This moist-looking gang. I mean, when you put it that way, yeah, I guess so. Nice. And then chop this guy. Uh, Alright, he gets one turn. He gets one turn. Really is a ragtag band of fish people. Nope. Oh. Ho -ho. Get counterattacked. Nope, nope. Don't try it. Don't try it. Oh, you shouldn't have tried it. I was ready for you. He shouldn't have tried it. Now, this, these guys don't really bleed, typically. I do, though. Yeah, there it is. There's me bleeding. Uh, stress heal? No, no, we're going for damage. Uh, pick to the face would be a good choice here, because we're expecting the battle to not last very long. So let's go for that high immediate damage rather than damage over time. I might be able to make this guy bleed. Not yet. Stun him. Alright, take a moment. Hmm. 12 damage left. Not quite. Uh, what's this in the back give us? A stress heal or a buff, which would be pretty pointless. Um. Oh, still not quite. Hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, that might not deal any damage. Let's wait it out. And now, the darkness holds dominion. Black as death. Da -da -da -da. Be wary. Stress heal for you. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Do we get a secret room? No. Okay, we are done. Yeah. All right. We got some good loot. We actually took out the Collector, which is one of the occasional wandering bosses you can find. The other one is the Shambler, who you can only find if you're wandering around in the dark, which I almost considered doing. It would have been a bad idea. We got a lot of crests. Germ Dove has learned Fast Healer. Okay, a little bit of a awkward level up there. All right. The frothing waters subside. The advantage is ours. Ooh, okay. So it wants us to go back to the cove for the next quest for extra XP and extra damage. I could see us doing that. <laughs> hey, look. Uh, another level two. I'll I'll take him just because he's if free. This, one must know it. This is what I'm still working up towards, which I just need a ton more deeds for these last upgrades here. There you go. Uh, you know what? Since we got that final stress heal. We might be ready for another... Ooh, the siren. 
This would be a good chance. This would be a good chance to take on the siren, the level two siren. She's a tricky one. Antiquarian. Do we have any mid-level antiquarians? No, we got rid of them. Okay. Mm. Okay, this team would not fare well on the Siren at all. Arbalist could also double as a healer. Um, hmm, Plague would be good, but he's too high level. We can't take him. Uh, hmm. So here's the here's what the siren's quirk is. Um, her deal is that she tries to take one of your teammates and uh, uh, charm them. So you'll be spending most of the fight with three people on your team and a teammate fighting against you. So you have to kind of very cautiously pick who you're going to go up against. Because anyone you choose to go on your team is also going to be working against you. Hmm. Eh. We're not going to have the, the dream team here. We don't we know we don't have a good team for it we don't have a good team for it uh, what's our what's our flat no we don't have we don't have a good team for this either we're missing a lot of key classes in the mid-level we only have five people in the mid levels right now no wait actually never mind we've got this we got this group here we got this group that could work. Okay, let's let's. Uh, she's already at high stress, which is not great. Uh, what if? All right, sort by level, please. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sort by level. Well, here, take her out, then sort by level, then put her back in. Okay, how many people do we actually have? Nine. Surely within nine. Arbalist for healing during the during the mission. Grave robber, it's okay. Can you make it happen with six? Oh man, if I could bring six heroes, that'd be great. Oh yeah, and then a charmed hero gets pulled back uh, to the back lines, I think. Let me see. Where does that where does that happen? Um, what what rank? Hello, rank. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, they'll always be placed in rank four. So we need people that can shuffle a bit. Hmm. So Arbalus is not great. One thing we do know is that typically the Siren will aim for whoever has the worst debuff resist. So 60%, 60%, that's a tie. Um, hmm. Sixty percent. Seventy percent, jeez. Eighty percent. Oh man, this is gonna be. This would be a sucky fight. What's her protection level here? Um, zero. Okay, she's a little bit dodgy. 
Um, and her damage is low. She deals stress, she deals bleed, and she summons some monsters. That's basically it. It's all about that charm. So we'd, we'd really just want to go for people who can manage being anywhere. I would really, really hate for Burst to get charmed. Because he would deal a ton of damage back to me. <laughs> That's basically it. Uh, let's see. This is a mostly level 3 team. That's got me a little bit worried. I think instead of Germ Dove, we take Dismas. What's his debuff? 70%. Okay. That gives us a little bit more knowledge of who's going to be sent back. It's either going to it's either going to start with our grave robber or our arbalist. Okay. Okay. That th we can work with this. We can work with this. All right. So let's make sure we got the skills we want at the levels we want. Yep. Duels advance. Yes, yes, yes. Not point blank shot, because that would be awful to be on the receiving end of. Um, yeah, low, low, low. Arbalist. We're going to up her bandage. Rallying flare. It can be good against all of the... You know what? Yeah. Let's have rallying flare. Um... And then we'll switch over to Sniper's Mark um, later, like before the fight. All right. More armor. You've already got armor. You've already got armor. You've already got armor. You have already got damage. You're going to need damage. Okay. Uh, trinkets. The right trinkets can make all the difference. Better healing for you. Um, better... Uh, who's our, who's going to be our D-Trapper? Oh, it's going to be either one of you. Not you, not you. Okay. Um, scouting. We want that scouting chance. Uh, you are going to be doing a little bit of healing, so we're going to give you the heal charm. <sighs> not a lot of... No, no stuns in this team composition. We're not going to be stunning anyone. Uh, let's make you extra dodgy. Burst is going to get the boots, always. Uh, wouldn't mind you being a little extra dodgy, too. Stun resist is not great. Move resist is okay, because you can actually deal with moves. You can get moved around and be okay. All right, Arbalist is going to get what? Siren counts as Eldritch, only Eldritch, not a human. So we don't want any of those. Uh, debuff skills? Eh, not really. Uh, hmm. Actually, debuff resistance would not be a bad shout, right? Because right now we're thinking either Grave Robber or Arbalist is going to be taking, taken. Um, I could specifically aim for Grave Robber. Or Arbalist to be taken. Yeah, maybe if I give the Grave Robber the debuff uh, charm, ah, that doesn't really make a lot of difference. Let's just let's just see who we get, and we'll go from there. Uh, and you'll take the. Resistance doesn't seem great. Do you have any class-specific stuff? Not yet. Not yet. 
Oh, what do we think? What do we think? Actually, debuff charm could be decent. Okay, I think we're going to go with this. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a little bit uncertain. Uh, but let's see if we can knock it out. Siren. Dark Tambourine. I'm probably just going to sell that. Um, moves. Pick to the face for dealing with snails. Hmm. How long does withstand last? I might want to get that move leveled up. Does it last for the fight? It lasts for the fight. 20% protection. Hmm. Okay, hold on. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna train him. We're gonna give him withstand. Yeah, 27% protection now. Uh, yep. Yeah. I mean, revenge can be good. Purge, I only want that for corpse clearing. All right, let's do it. Cove, here we go. Uh, basically the same provisions as last time. Food. That should be enough. Uh, shovels. Let's get five total shovels, I think. Uh, I'll take an anti-venom. I'm going to take lots of bandages. Uh, debuff, yes. And. Uh, a couple keys, I guess. I don't want to go crazy on keys. In financial She's beautiful. With the ancient things that surfaced in search of sacrifice when the moon was bright. Their price was the delivery of an obscure idol and one other item of more troubling portent. The pact struck. My newfound accomplices slipped silently beneath the brackish water. A fearful stirring at the edge of the torchlight betrayed a familiar witness and gifted me with malign inspiration. Uh -huh. I always wondered what became of the unfortunate little waif. All right, well, we know where it is. It's a long, it's a long journey. Six. Okay, this way is shorter. Here we go. <laughs> First square trap. Okay, it is very important that we do not lose Dismas, because there's an achievement for getting him to the final mission, along with Renald. So, uh, I really want that to happen. Alright. A lot of damage. Spear fishing, huh? Okay, and you are... yeah, don't like you. Alright, goal is Oh okay. That works. Hey, stop it. Oh yeah, this de stealths. Do I wanna do that? Yeah. Found you. We've got the, uh, we got the 15% bonus. It's like, how are we getting that much protection right now? Or that much damage? 6 to 11. Nice. Deal some good dots over the next couple rounds. Oh! 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 Ho ho! Ho ho ho! Ho ho! I can't pistol shot him. Uh, still got two rounds of repost. 
Okay. Two to four or two to three? Well, let's take the two to four. Technically a chance of... We got a bleed. Okay. I didn't expect that. Uh, I can't snipe. I, I just can't. Uh, let's bandage you. Okay. Uh, additionally, that's going to give him a buff to receive extra healing. Four to seven damage. Uh, let's get the defense up. Nice. Three. Ha. Ah. And we resist the blue. That was good. That was good move. Good move. All right. This is actually going to take a little bit, huh? So maybe we... Maybe we do aim for just the uh, stack blight. Stack blight, stack bleed. We're actually making him bleed. All right. Ten damage coming up. Ah, oh, but the dodge. All right. Still got 10 more coming next. Good dodge from Dismas. So, oh, here we go. Dead. He's going to he's going to bleed out next round, right? Yeah, we're done. So, any healing we can do this round, take it. Uh, stress healing actually would be probably a good call. None. Uh, stress heal. 13. Nice. Take it. Scout. Nice. A fight. A fight. And a fight. Uh. Ooh, no fights this way. If we go the long way around, there's no fights. We could skip a fight entirely with that. I might want to do that. Anything worth Wealth taking. Measure. Awarded to the brave and the fool <sighs> Lose a shovel for a stack of crests. I feel like we're going to find more crests along the way. So I'm... <sighs> oh, well, I can already see I don't need any shovels up until then. All right, we'll, we'll drop a shovel, I guess. All right, and now we're going back to the entrance because, surprisingly, this is the better play. A little bit of stress build up from retracing our steps. All right, and Grave Robber is actually going to do some stress healing by deactivating traps. So that's actually she's actually going to get another trap coming up. Uh, so that does help. Anything good? All right, we'll take that. Uh, nothing else. That was worth it. All right, we're managing our health. We're managing our stress. We're going to finish a boss fight tonight. I also did a little bit of image editing for the boss. As the light gains purchase... Spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Yeah, use a shovel. Use a shovel. Let's see. We got a key. And some more crests. That's enough. All right. So now we we just now finished circumnavigating that one fight, and now we got two more fights ahead of us. Uh, here we go. Um, my speed is high enough. I think I can get the torch up before any enemies attack. Hey, look, snails. Um, the snails do disease, which is not great. There's a chance I get the kill. Six, seven, eight, nine. Eh, one out of three chance of a kill there. This guy, though, is going to be a pain. I mean, they all are. Nice! One less snail in this world. Turtle would be so happy. Tossed. 
is not going to trigger on that one. Yeah, that's not going to... Yeah, nothing's going to happen there. Rind might end up coming out. Uh, okay. Maybe I take out some accuracy. I can debuff you. You really are. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Hi, turtle. Ow. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's so dumb. Uh, so 50-50, I kill the snail. <laughs> there you go, turtle. No, stop it. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of stress damage. Okay, I can deal with that. <laughs> Hi, turtle. All right, what's our play here? Um, this thing can bleed, that's, yeah, let's just go for the bleed damage. Nope, didn't pan out. Oh, and it dodges. All right, so it's got a debuff for one more attack. Uh, it, it can be blighted. Nice, nice. How much we stack in here? Five. Not quite enough yet. If I can get seven damage. There it is. We got him. All right, so you are going to stress heal. At least we can keep your stress down pretty easy. Ooh, Ruby. Unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Uh, it's not as good as a stack of gold as far as money goes, but I'll take it over the uh, anti-venom. Anti-venom was a bit of a stretch and whether or not we need that. Hudson! Oh, you just missed the snail. I'll have to clip it later. Actually, let me set a marker on my stream so I remember when that is, vaguely. It was a good moment. I've been doing some image editing. Missed. Fired. And I missed. Mmm, this one's not a great combo. Alright, he's gonna go spear fishing. <laughs> oh, I forgot to move Dismas back where I needed him. Um doesn't really make much of a difference except for purge I don't think purge is gonna come up oh not quite enough damage uh, I need a little bit more can I get five damage yep cool thanks I had to write an essay today in like 50 minutes five paragraphs hands have never been so crampy I, you know what, I did not enjoy uh, writing in school. Just writing. Ow. Nope, not moving. Oh, bad choice. Oh, counterattacked. Uh-oh. Okay, can... Oh, nice. Alright, he needs some bandaging up. History, not English. Oh, that, yeah. Never a fan of history. Alright. Bandage you up. Stress is still okay. Not great. Ah. Jerk. <laughs> Hovercat does love writing a good essay. It's true. Trish? Trash. <laughs> Tough. 
help. <laughs> Why do I have Grape Shot on still? I need to get rid of that. Uh, mm. I could go for the kill. Honestly, that's probably the best bet. Yeah, there's a Stress Heal. Better be something good. Eh. Eh. Tempted to get rid of this ruby. I probably should, because chances are I'm not getting another ruby. If I don't get another ruby, I'm missing out on 500 gold in the slot. If I do get another ruby, and I would have gotten enough money then I'm missing out on uh 750 but I think the chances are as much as I hate it I, I'd rather have the ex extra versatility right now all right let's go need a little bit of healing in the back line oh reward. yeah Ooh. That's not a great team to deal with. Okay. Backliners gotta go fast. Uh, let's see if we can get lucky here. Okay, I need 15 damage on him still. 13, not quite enough, so we're gonna do suppressing fire. There we go. Adds the debuff and a little bit of chip damage on the back line. There we go. All right, good start. So now we only have two of them to deal with. One's going to attack the front, one's going to attack the back. You had to go for the weakened one, didn't you? Ow. All right, she just needs to spend the rest of this round healing. Not quite enough. You're going to get one more attack. Five, and now we got better healing, so we might be looking at, like, seven next time. Maybe he'll miss because of that lower accuracy. Nope, there goes that five. Okay, this guy's bleeding out. Oh yeah, you gotta you gotta find the right balance. I don't want him dying yet. I need to bandage. Miss, miss. No. Jerk. Come on, man. Dang it. That was unfortunate amounts of damage. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Okay. Youch. <laughs> yeah, basically. People aren't going to read an article unless it's long enough. Come on. Ooh, surprise that didn't really make that much of a difference. Um, hmm, ooh, this is an awkward position to be in. Ooh, this is an awkward position to be in. Um, okay. Shadow Fade. And then that means he can't use his Duelist Advance for the repost. Repost. Yeah, this one's going to be a tricky one. Um, I would love to get a crit on her right now. What do you think? What do you think? One damage left. Naturally. 
Okay. There we go. Gotta reach eight minutes. It's that sweet spot. We got, we got a crit. It worked. I just had to ask for it. I really need to get rid of Grape Shot. It's not that great for what I'm doing here. Ooh, now I could lunge. No, let's, let's do this. So right now I have double damage. Extra crit rate. Um, hmm. You? Oh, he targets marked enemies. Okay, that's something. <laughs> None of us do. Yeah, because I've got high protection right now. So I'm taking like half normal damage. Half of what anyone else would take. And I can actually... He can actually self-heal. So that's kind of big, because nobody else can. <laughs> so uh, Arbalist has her hands full with a lot of... Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm marked for the whole fight. That's good. I actually want that. Oh, yeah, and watching it slowly buffer, and you, you pause it and be patient. Yeah, until you can get a, a satisfactory amount. That's how you get it. That's how you get your hit video. I do not understand. <laughs> All right. Turtle. Yes, turtle. You have news. I'm excited. I'm excited for this news. All right, we're still marked. Application of, of itch cream on the ankle. Ah. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's bad. Ah, we're doing it. We're doing the Adventure Island. Ah. That was a uh, that was like a little party party thing. Uh, there we go. That's it. That's our. Ah. Oh wait, here we go. We're doing it! We're doing the island! Very well, Turtle. That'll probably be the next uh, game after Darkest Dungeon, then. Which we're surprisingly close to finishing. It doesn't seem like it, but we are. What happened to the old ankle? Okay, so... On Sunday, we went up to visit my mom. We went for a little walk in the, in the woods behind her house. And uh, we, we put bug spray on little Toadette. And for ourselves, we were like, eh, we'll see the mosquitoes coming. We can handle it. It's fine. Uh, we did not think about the fact that mosquitoes are not the only bugs to deal with. Uh, we got coated in, uh, in chigger bites. I counted on my right foot 35 bites. My, yeah, my mom bit. Yeah, I, was, I don't like to talk about it, but yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, so I am somewhere in the neighborhood of I'm gonna I'm gonna estimate all of like weirdly the right foot is where they're most concentrated. Hovercat got eaten up as well. It's been rough. It's been rough. We're steadily steadily healing. Every day's a little bit better, but only a little bit better. There we go. There's that, uh, that's that second ruby that I was sure I wasn't going to get. Dang it. Okay, we got the scout chance. Double scout. Nice. Okay, so we have a... We need a shovel here and then a fight. Okay. Hmm. The match is struck. We'll leave a torch a behind. Star is born. 
maybe a bit of a risk. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, why, di why didn't we think of that? Who knows? All right, not worth it. Free torch. Boop. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Money. All right, so this is an empty room. Uh, we're, we're not going to camp yet. We're not going to camp yet. We're getting close to needing to camp. Another mariner. Another misfortune. All right, got a fight in here, and I'm hoping for a... Uh, oh no! Ooh, this is a bad fight. A new mouse pad, nice. Oh, this is a bad fight. This is all over bad. A lot of stress, a lot of damage from this guy. This guy hurts. This guy hits like a truck. Uh, but then we also have this in the back. Oh, boy. Okay, okay. Hmm. A lot of stress damage coming our way. Ah, dang it. This really, really sucks. Okay. Dang it. Yeah, we're going to take a lot of stress damage. Here comes more stress damage. Yeah, this is going to be rough. Only 174 points. Wow, you you just now got it, huh? Okay. Two to four, eight to 17. All right, that's one less. This guy's still a bit of a problem. We want to withstand. This is gonna be a long, rough fight here. Ooh, okay, good, good. Wait. Do you not have a... Did we not put a second... What? When did that... Okay. Whatever. 1 to 3, 6 to 11, but the 1 to 3 is also going to do 12 Blight over time if it lands, and it should land. It's going to... Yeah, we're going we're gonna to stack dots. The music of the eagles... Because you, oh, where's, uh, hmm, because, uh, you're going to take it easy? No, that doesn't, that doesn't, that's, that doesn't, that, that doesn't work at all. Forget, forget that one. Oh, there, there is no joke. That's it. Ooh. That one hurts. Oh, but she resisted the bleed. That's good. Okay, well, that's basically nothing then. We're good. No joke. All right. <sighs> I see. That is a good opportunity to really get into the music of the eagles. Because I've been telling you for a long time, you really need to check them out. Nope. No punchline. That's it. That's it. Dang it, that was a worthless move. Oh, not her again. Come on. Anyone else would be okay. Nine damage and two additional damage. Okay. We're not going to kill him this round. I'm hoping for a little stress heal here. Come on. Nothing. Two in a row. All right. This is fine because... Okay. Because he's just going to dodge it. Cool. All right. So he's dead. He, we killed him. He's dead. <laughs> Lady Gogo. -Go.
Come on, give us give us some stress heal. Give us some stress heal. Okay, it's a little bit. It's three. Uh, I may as well take this too. Vigor is restored. A little bit more stress heal. Ah, she's really stressed out. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Oh, okay. Yes, got the scout chance. No fight. Good, 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 good. Um, a lockbox. Who's got blight resistance? 80, 80, 60. Anything good? Yeah, that's all right. Waiting to be spent. Okay, no more keys, huh? No more keys needed. All right. We camp... What are we using? What are we using? Is it is it the same? Bandit sense, clean guns, restring crossbow? Is that? <sighs> or is there a good de-stressor we can use here? Uh, nobody has encourage. Wow. Any diseases that I need to remove? Not really. Yeah, we'll do the we'll do the usual. We'll do the usual here. Okay, I'm expecting. I'm expecting Grave Robber. Uh, grave Robber is the one that's going to get taken over. And that means we could get any of these on us. Ooh, we should, we should equip this sucky move and not lunge, because I don't want to get lunged. That's not huge. It's not huge damage. I mean, so if it's crit, that sucks. Shadow Fade doesn't matter. Poison Darts kind of sucks. It's 12 damage over time. You know what? Maybe maybe she's okay. Maybe she's okay. So she's going to be at taken over first. And we're not going to enjoy it. It's almost funnier this way. There's nothing A There's nothing funny. What do, you, what do you mean? Okay, Stress Heal. <sighs> stress is still not great. But we're gonna we're gonna live with it. All right, bandit sense, clean guns, restring crossbow, and pilfer. Hey, you know what? I will take that because we can uh, we can actually use that before the fight. We can just pop those at the beginning. Just setups. Setupsonly.com. All right. Oh, this will be some stress heal for her. That's good. All right. So I did edit the sirens art a little bit. Oh, this is going to be rough. She's going to be she's going to be pulled over and then spit back in the back lines and then I can lunge from there. Belt buckles are funny, you see, because, well, they're funny, you see. All right. Oh, she's beautiful. All right. We're going to pop. Well, she doesn't really... Hang on. She doesn't really do anything, does she? Oh, she can do bleed. She can do bleed on all enemies. It's really the other guys we're going to have to worry about. So let's pop these for three rounds. Duelist advance. Yep, here we go. There we go. <laughs> I made it more uh, stream friendly, you see. Oh, it, whoa, it missed. It can do that? He can't. Turtle, just trust. She missed. She gonna do it again? No, she's bringing in enemies. Okay, cool. Um, let's resist. He can't tell you why. really hoping for the oh we gotta hurry we gotta hurry the ground quakes stack those dots all right here we go again 
Oh, oh no, not Dismas. Ooh, that sucks. Oh, and he's got repulsed. Okay, it's okay. He's only gonna be over there for a little bit. 20 damage. I can withstand. Oh, Grape Shot. I left Grape Shot on. Dang it, I had the bleed resist and everything. <laughs> Too far, I say. No! Dismas! Don't do it! That hurts a little bit. Actually, that was half my health. Thanks. Appreciate that. Ooh, this one sucks. Stress is building. Okay. Bandage. And also... Get rid of the debuff. Ooh, heal. No, I gotta keep going. I gotta fish for that fish for that crit. That crit's gonna hit for 30. Which would be lovely if I can get it to land. Dang it. Alright, as soon as he gets back over here, we're gonna have words. Alright, thank you. Alright, just taking a lot of damage. So, oh no. Uh oh. That's not a good one. Ooh, that's not a good one. Ooh, that's particularly bad. All right, come on, come on. Take her out, take her out quick. 50 more damage, 50 more damage. Oh, dodged, cool. Not good to have my grave robber right there. Come on, give me that crit. Ah, I'm one crit away from winning. Oh, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes! Eh, I hit him back, but he's got high resistance right now, so we're good. Pick to the face. Just, just get us over to the finish line. We're almost there, we're almost there. There it is! Matriarch, got it! Bio queen of the aphotic depths. She has no place in the sane world. Sunring, that's a good one. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, yeah. We did it. GG's. Five grand, plus, plus our six for the reward. 30 crests. She got a couple of deeds in there. Oh, okay. Dismas and Burst have leveled out of mid-level. Unholy Slayer. Protection, okay. Cool. We did it. Hey, we finished some boss fights. Two boss fights tonight. And it is shameful that I must rely upon you to set it right. Still no brigands quest. Uh I'm kind of avoiding these high level bosses. They're particularly rough. There we go. Um, we did it. Incredible. So let's see. Dismas is now level... I gotta update my uh, my document here. Dismas is now level 5, so that's one less to... <laughs> GQ. He's dancing. He's dancing. Um, let's see here. Uh, Burst is now level 5. That's the main. That's the main one we need to to know about. Theron is at level three still. Uh, our arbalist Manili is at level four. Casserole, yeah, Casserole is doing good. Casserole is a great a great team member. He's <laughs> a great guy. He's a great guy. Uh, so let's see. Germ Dove, we still need to get leveled up to level 6. Casserole and Short Fused are one level away. Uh, Hover Cat is one level away. Uh, Game Cute is one away. Dismas is one away. 
And we still need to bring up this Vestal, I guess. That's gonna be a pain. But we do need do we we do need a throwaway Vestal for the final Darkest Dungeon quest. Um yeah, so we have a lot of people that still need leveling up out of the low levels. The really dangerous ones, the really dangerous quests are going to be when we're leveling up these level 5 people. Because that means we have to do one of these very difficult quests. Depending on their XP levels, like if you need 8 XP, for instance... Um, you can actually get that from a short expedition. But for Casserole, who's at 36 exactly, he needs 12 XP to level up, which means either a medium or two short quests. We might be able to just fish for short quests for a long time and just try and get everybody just kind of pushed up with these like baby quick quests that aren't super dangerous. Just like explore, 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 get out, get out, get out. Because uh, the enemies, there's new enemies in the champion level quests. Uh, the existing enemies have additional difficulties to deal with, like more powerful abilities, uh, more status effects they can throw at you. Like that big crab that we just faced, he does eight bleed. And that lasts for three turns. So if he hits you with that, with that big meaty claw... Uh, you're going to be taking like 25 damage over the next few rounds. That's a lot to, to heal. So anyway, there you go. Uh, what is it? It's Friday. Uh, next stream will be Sunday. We're going to be doing some more Darkest Dungeon. I don't know what quests. Uh, Monday will be Minecraft. And once we can finish up Darkest Dungeon, we're going to be going over into Adventure Island a favorite of Turtle's. And Turtle knows all the secrets of how that game works. So I'm going to require some serious coaching. <laughs> love, love GameCube's big googly eyes here. It's great. Alright. Everyone, have a wonderful night. I will, uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye!